Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see how to tool up the machine. We have seen already how to create a drilling bit. We have seen how to create a milling bit. So once our library will be completed, the next step of course will be the tooling. Let's go immediately up here and use our navigator in order to switch environment and we select of course tooling. At this point we can see how our machine is configured. We can see the tool library at the bottom and we can immediately notice what is tooled up already and what is not by the green dot. So if the tool has a green dot on the top right corner of the image, that means that the tool is already loaded on the machine. So it is in some of the magazines. In this case, I have two magazines, one smaller, with 12 positions and the other one bigger with 16. Of course this is just based on the configuration of your machine. Your machine can have only one or maybe two or three or you know it doesn't matter so uh, that is just to show the concept. We can see also the drilling block with all the spindles. In this case I'm using a flat table machine so as you can see I only have vertical spindles. I don't have any horizontal but eventually uh, for pod and rail machines uh, uh, normally you also have horizontal spindles and they will be listed uh, of course here just instead of uh, being named T and then the number, it will be TH and then the number. At this point, how to tool it up and how to remove tools? Really simple. So we select the tool uh, magazine. And if we want to remove something, we just select the tool and it will highlight basically also the pocket, so the whole thing. And we can press delete on our keyboard and it will be gone. Now, in order to tool up the new tool, we can select the tool from the library, click on it and hold it, drag and drop it where we want. So if we want to drop it here it's fine or otherwise we can drop it here. Now we have just tooled up a new tool. Same thing is for the boring block. So if we go into the boring block, we can just, uh, actually, let's change the view so we can actually see what is tooled up and what is not. So look it from the bottom. Okay. So looking at it from the bottom, we see that this actually spindle is available. There is nothing in it. From the top, we were not able to see it. At this point, like I said, uh, selecting the tool from the library, and of course it's showing only uh, the tools for uh, the boring block. So select, click and hold, drag and drop, and here we have our new tool. Now let me show you something different because we can also do it in a different way. So let's get rid of that and maybe this one too. Another way will be 
eventually to select the empty uh, spindle or an empty pocket in case of a magazine and then double click on the tool directly from the library so like if we want to add here a 10 another 10 millimeter after selecting the spindle we double click on the tool same thing for the other we can select the spindle and then double click on the tool remember uh, once you have done uh, all your changes so same thing also for the magazine just select double click on a tool that is not tooled up already and it is done what I was saying is remember to save the configuration before you close this environment or you go and select a different one save and at this point we are good to go and we can start actually programming however we will see the programming on the next video see you soon